Trump made a number of claims in his North Carolina speech this weekend, including continuing to claim that his election loss was the crime of the century, touting a potential 2024 presidential run, and describing the investigation into his finances as a witch hunt. However, the one claim we want to focus on today is this one. Yeah, he's a great promoter, you know? Not a great doctor, but he's a hell of a promoter. But Fauci has perhaps never been more wrong than when he denied the virus and where it came from. So what's going on with Fauci? What's been found in his emails? And what's everyone so upset about? Let's explain all of that right now. Before we dive in, if you haven't already, consider subscribing to this channel. That way you'll get more videos from us and we may even be able to pass 200,000 subscribers today. Thanks so much for your support. So, you've likely heard a lot about Dr. Anthony Fauci in recent days, with the US's infectious disease expert coming under fire from everyone from Trump to recently banned on Twitter Naomi Wolf, who described him as the devil. All of this attention stems from more than 3,000 of Fauci's emails, which emerged following a Freedom of Information request, with the most contentious emails relating to the origins of the COVID pandemic. Since the outbreak began, Fauci has been insistent that the most likely scenario is that the COVID-19 virus spread from an animal to humans, most likely from bats. When other people suggested possibilities such as the idea that the virus leaked from the Wuhan Institute of Virology, Fauci was quick to shoot it down, insisting that it wasn't likely. In fact, when speaking to the FT recently, Fauci continues to insist that animal to human transmission is the most likely cause of the pandemic as do the majority of medical and scientific experts around the world. So how does this link to the emails? Well, the emails which have caught the most attention are those between Fauci and Professor Christian Anderson. These emails originate from February 1st, 2020, before the outbreak took off in the US, and involve discussion of the virus leaking from the Chinese lab. Anderson himself has since rebuked these claims, but the existence of this communication has added fuel to the fire with many saying that Fauci actively downplayed the likelihood of the leak, despite scientific evidence and discussion at the time. Then, in April of 2020, he received another email from an executive at a health charity, who thanked Fauci for publicly rejecting the lab theory. The problem many people have with this is that the charity in question helped to fund research at the Wuhan lab accused of leaking the virus. On top of that, the NIH gave a $600,000 grant to the charity to fund their work with the Wuhan lab on the research of coronaviruses in bats. Therefore, some see this email and Fauci's remarks at the time as evidence of a concerted conspiracy to suppress the origins of the virus. Speaking to CNN, Fauci has since denied this claim, saying that the emails have been taken out of context, and insisting that he has and had an open mind on the matter, and that it was nonsense to infer that there was any cosy relationship between himself and those conducting said research. It's not just the emails related to the virus's origins which have received a lot of attention though, with his comments on masks also coming under fire. You might remember that initially the US, like many other Western nations, issued confusing and often contradictory guidance around masks. Well, emails reveal that in February, Fauci said that masks were really for infected people to prevent them from spreading infection to people who are not infected, rather than protecting infected people from acquiring infection. Going on to say how store-bought masks fail to be effective. The reaction to all of these emails has varied a lot depending on who you're talking to, with some comparing them to a Rorschach ink block test. For Republicans, including Senator Ron Paul, who has called for Fauci's removal, these emails make it abundantly clear that Fauci is a massive fraud. To them, they back up the argument that he twists the science and acted in political ways to undermine Trump. For those supporting Fauci, these emails don't really change much though. They argue that the messages demonstrate that Fauci has a continually evolving view that shifts with the science. Rather than proving that the scientist flip-flopped, these emails demonstrate an ability to adapt and grow with the science, rather than just supporting political narratives. For their part, the Biden administration have defended Fauci in response to growing criticism, insisting that he's an undeniable asset 
Despite this, Biden has recently requested an investigation into the claim to get to the bottom of the issue and establish whether the virus really could have come from the Wuhan Institute. So ultimately, we'll have to wait and see what these investigations find and if there's any validity to the claim. Let us know what you think about Fauci and whether there's any validity behind the Wuhan lab claims in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to be notified every time we release a new video. Special thanks to our Patreon backers who make videos like this one possible. And if you want to see your name at the end of videos, then you too can back us on Patreon. The link to that is in the description.